Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today let's see how you can automatically enroll user in Teachable on WooCommerce sale. Let's say you are an online educator and you want to enroll a student in Teachable the very moment they purchase your course on WooCommerce. Basically, there are two ways of doing that. First, you maintain the data manually. However, it can be little repetitive and time consuming. Second is the Pabli smart way. Here, what we will do is we will integrate WooCommerce with Teachable all using Pabli Connect. So what happens is when the student orders your course on WooCommerce, they will be automatically enrolled for the same in Teachable. Now let's see how we do it. To integrate WooCommerce with Teachable, let us first go to Pabli's website. In the top right, you will see two options, sign in and sign up for free. Since I already have an account, I will just sign in. Now go to Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a blue button, Create Workflow. Click there. It will ask you for the name. I will write WooCommerce to Teachable. Hit Create. Okay, so now it will show you two windows. Uh, trigger window and uh, action window. The trigger window asks when this happens, action says do this. So here, let us select WooCommerce as our trigger window. It will ask you to select a trigger event. We will go with new order created. Why? Because we want whenever a new order is created in WooCommerce, the student should be enrolled in Teachable. So we will select new order created as our trigger event. So whenever a new order will be created in WooCommerce, it will initiate an action. So here are the steps that we have to follow next. First, let us copy the webhook URL. Webhook URL is the link that connects two applications. Let us copy this. Go to a dashboard. Then on the left hand side, go to Woo WooCommerce, click on settings. Then you will see a button advanced. Click there. Come down here. You will see webhook. Create click there. Now add webhook. Okay, so here it will ask you the name. So since this is for teaching purpose, I will just write for teaching. Okay, let us active activate this. So we will select active, select an option. See, come, come back to Pabli Connect. Here you will see. Here you will see it is written choose a topic as order created. So go back and select order created as the topic and remember the url that we that we had copied this we will paste this url here this webhook url and save webhook okay it is saying it's saved now go back to pabli's page let us recapture web, webhook response here. Yes, we wish to recapture this. Now let us see if we have successfully created the link between WooCommerce and Pabli. For that, let us just quickly go to the shop and place an order. Yeah, here's my shop. Okay, I want a PHP course for beginners. Add to cart. Proceed to checkout. I will just one proceed to update cart. And yes. So now it will ask me my details. So we have filled all these details, name and address. Now let us place order. The order has been placed. Now let us go to Pabli's page. And here it is saying waiting for webhook response. Let us see if, if it is able to capture the response 
from WooCommerce. Yes, here it is. You can see the response has been received. All these details, the checkout amount, the billing name, last name, company's name and the address details. Pavli has successfully captured all these details from WooCommerce. Now let us come on to second step, which is filter. Click here. So what will this filter do? This filter will make sure that students who have bought PHP for beginners course, only those students are enrolled. So for that, let us set some conditions here. Let us click here. Map it, come down and down. And here you will see, you will see line items PHP for beginners equal to, we will write PHP for beginners. Yes, let us save and send test request. Okay, so you can see the condition is true here. Why? Because you will see that the customer had created order, had placed order for PHP for beginners course. Yes, and therefore it is showing the condition is true. Now let us come down to our final step. We will select, sorry, teachable as the next application. Action event. Now what we want to do is we have to enroll user in a course. So let us click here. Connect. Add new connection. Now it will ask you for a few details. So enter your email ID from which you have logged in your Teachable account. So enter your email ID from which you have logged in your Teachable account. So use your Teachable account's ID here. The password for the same. And now it will ask you to enter a subdomain here. Now pay little extra attention as I tell you how to get a subdomain. Go to your Teachable accounts. Click on your school, Pavli Connect School. It's accessing. Now on the left hand side, click on site option. You will see domain. Click there. And now you will see a domain name. Copy it. Come back to Pavli Connects page. Enter it here. And make sure you remove everything after school that is remove dot teachable dot com. It should be in this format. Yeah, so we have removed dot com. Save. Now it will ask you for few more details like email. So let us quickly map these. Yes, billing email. Click here. Now name. Again, go to WooCommerce and yes, first name, you will also take last name. Let us leave password like this, empty. Click save and send test request to see if it is actually work. And yes, you can see we have received the response here. Yes. Now let us see if our customer has received some sort of mail or information regarding this. Let us go to her mail ID and here it is. Order confirmation mail. Hello Ashmita Sharma. We have successfully received your order for PHP for beginners. Now let's see if the student has been enrolled in the Teachables account. Go to Teachable here. Here. You will see courses. Click there. Click on PHP for beginners. Then on the left hand side, you will see students. Click there. And you will see Ashmita Sharma has been successfully enrolled. I hope it was useful. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.